Hello, good evening everyone. Um, I am Hossam Abdulaziz. I would like to thank you all for joining me today. As uh, I'm, I have uh, a bitty topic, um, we can explore exciting, informative um, world of digital delivery in, at the design stage. Uh, I'm working actually for uh, Sistra. It is an international firm as an inf information task manager working for, uh, for a project uh, Neom. Yeah. Working for a project in Neom in Middle East, Saudi Arabia, uh, called the Oxagon. Um, actually, it is a bit confidential to, to hear information about it, but um, anyway, I'm, work, I'm taking the lead for uh, digital delivery management for this project, and this is actually BEM project. I will just highlight uh, during my session some of the workflows that, that I use it during the design stage for this project. Uh, first of all, um, I would like just to give just a little brief of information about myself. Uh, I have 18 years experience in engineering as a total and uh, like we can say between 14 to 15 years experience with BEM starting from modeling uh, during um, most of the stage till red line at the end. Um, First of all, I'm taking my topic using BIM 360 as a platform. I know Autodesk have ACC, as most of people talking about it right now, as this is a new age of BIM 360. But we're using BIM 360 for a particular reason during uh, our design stage. Uh, BIM 360 is taking care more with, um, with the model itself and the information already carried out inside the model more than uh, ACC, Autodesk platform. So we, we can talk about, uh, about this. This is allowing us to work uh, in the project digitally uh, with this revolution CDE platform or common data environment uh, for building information modeling. Um, this is more than a software. It is like a platform controlling much of softwares like we, we, we can say we can mitigate with, uh, with Autodesk applications uh, starting from Revit for modeling and uh, Navisworks, uh, AutoCAD Civil 3D, this is related to modeling and we can mitigate as well with uh, normal AutoCAD for 2D. Uh, so I will just highlight that with, uh, with, a, small, uh, with a small video, the benefits that we can take it from uh, BEM 360. Uh, first of all, BEM 360 is Autodesk Blast uh, cloud-based solution that allows teams to calibrate in real time, providing a seamless workflow, minimizing errors, uh, reducing costs, and increasing productivity. Uh, it allows architect uh, architects and engineering and uh, construction, that we can call it AEC, uh, to access the project data anywhere, anytime, uh, on the, any device that you, you can use it. Uh, firstly, I would uh, just uh, say that it is offer centralized access for this, for this particular project, which means that everyone involved inside this project can access at the same time all data and this is uh, just gives us uh, a kind of truth for uh, for for this data secondly uh, real real time update any change any changes made by team members are instantly visible to everyone else so uh, it can be just we can if we have like clash or something at the real time we can just uh, uh, involved inside a discussion or something that we can uh, just reduce the, um, the efficiency of time between uh, coordination. It is, co it is coordinated by, by real time. Third, provided a, a powerful visualization tool allowing design consultant to communicate their ideas and design more than if effectively. The platform supports various types of uh, visualization from basic uh, 2D to, uh, to 3D to documents to reports. Um, we can just, uh, fourthly, we can incorporate clash detection and resolution features 
with multiple team working in the same in the same project at the same times. There's always uh, a risk of design element clashing. BIM 360 can identify this clash before it comes to real world, allowing teams to resolve them really and uh, avoid a costly rework, we can say. Okay, uh, so... I have actually a, a real case from my, uh, my project that I already created like uh, four workflows. Uh, these workflows can allow us to just implement and go through our project. It comes from uh, first uh, first workflow. It, uh, it comes to have like pre-approval from uh, BEM lead. This is check checking um, the the project compliant uh, with uh, with all uh, with all with all information already included inside the, the model itself. Uh, second one, it, it comes as a peer review. It is from the modeler to the designer to check if uh, the design itself comes with, with the real design comes from the modeler. Unless we have uh, the modeler the same person as the, design, the designer, the designer himself, he, he creating his own model. Then the third one, it, uh, it will go to uh, the lead for, uh, for, for, for this display in itself. So he will check for both uh, designer and modeler. Then it comes to director level to check and uh, and approve or give a comment or raise an issue. Uh, then after the, this four workflow approval, we go to design coordination, which it will be uh, de design coordinator who who his mission to federate all displays together and combined it inside one federated model and the check design issues. Uh, this is actually a real case from, uh, from my project. Uh, I would like to, uh, to speak about modules inside, inside BIM 360. I will start with, uh, with data management module. This is, we can say, it's, uh, it is the heart, of, uh, the heart of BIM 360 where all project information is stored, managed and the track. With, uh, with this module, we have a single source for truth for our project data, ensuring consistency, accuracy, and cross this port. It provided a secure cloud-based environment for sorting, viewing, and managing uh, all, uh, all project data, including 2D and 3D and documents and all other relevant information. Uh, version control is the key feature for uh, for in ensuring that all team members are working with the same current files and they can track the changes over time. Um, and we can uh, take the second one, second design calibration module, and this is actually um, it's very very important module for uh, calibrate and. Um, and check, uh, check the model compliance with uh, interfacing all other disciplines together. Uh, this is enables teams to work together uh, seamlessly on, on shared model, regardless their physical location. It provides tools for real-time calibration, allowing team members to view and share and review designs in shared work, workspace. And this, uh, this module also supports uh, co-authorizing of, uh, of designs uh, with the ability to, to manage and to control individual user permission to add a security. Uh, one of uh, one of the standout features of uh, this design calibration module is uh, swim lane. We, we can see it here. On this swim lane, uh, it provides a visual presentation of the project uh, and on the timeline, showing how different uh, design modules have evolved and how they, they have interact with, with identifying poten potential issue before it comes uh, problematic. Then we have the third one, it is um, design coordination module. This like uh, calibration to another level of providing tools of clash detection and issue resolution. It automatically identifies clashes between different design elements, whatever uh, this display itself. 
allowing teams to address these issues before construction begins. This can save significant time and resources by eliminating the need of, uh, of uh, costly rework. The module also allows for creation and assignment of issues and team members identify the problems that can create an issue assigned to a relevant person. So you can assign the issue to relevant person inside, uh, inside the, the, the same team or the other team and you can track it till uh, it got fixed. Actually, uh, if you are talking overall or recap, when it comes to workflow review and approval process, BIM 360 offers a streamlined, comprehensive solution. All updates, changes, and new design additional are tracked and notified. Uh, team members um, can comment and put markups directly to design files, uh, fostering clear, uh, clear communication. With, uh, with approval process, BIM 360 support customi customizable workflow, so you can customize all uh, whatever the workflow you need it inside the same project. Uh, so this module of BIM 360 work together provided powerful efficiency and effective environment for design consultation and ensure that all project data are accurate, up to date, and accessible the team can collaborate effectively and the design clashes are identified and resolved promptly. Therefore, Autodesk BIM 360 is more than just a tool. It is a, compreh a comprehensive platform that provides seamless, collaborative and efficiency environment for design consulting. Uh, actually, for design consultation, and uh, it can also uh, be with uh, with the contractor after you, so you, you you can both sides calibrate at the same time. Uh, the future design consultation, actually, as I can see, it is digital one. So BIM series is still leading the way. If we are meet the demand of uh, the 21st century design construction industry, we must embrace this digital solution and integrate them into our workflow. Um, actually, there is many platforms that we can, we can just uh, talk about inside CDE and we can say uh, for ACC uh, also this is the next stage or the next era, but for, uh, for consultation and the relationship between the consultant and, uh, and the contractor, I suggest BEM 360 as it's involved inside model more than workflows and more than managing uh, from ACC. This is actually my idea as I'm using both platforms from both companies with my company and my BMC company. Um, I'm open for any question and thank you all for, uh, for attending and um, I really appreciate it. Thank you.